B. Simone gets emotional after getting the green light to do a multi-city comedy tour. Hey, y'all. I just wanted to hop on live real quick. I was pinning this tour. I am overwhelmed with gratitude. These are happy tears. I'm trying to post, I mean, hold this camera. Overwhelmed with gratitude. There's not even a word to describe how I feel. I have been through so much in the media. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Publicly, I have been through so much privately. And as I made my transition or still making my transition from culture to more kingdom living, it's so hard. And y'all are seeing me transition in real time. So y'all are going to see me when I backslide. Y'all are going to see me when I might have one foot over here, one foot over there. Y'all are going to see me transition. But now I'm understanding that it's all a part of my purpose in the industry that I'm planted in. It's all a part of what God has called me to do. And the enemy will try to creep in and make you doubt what you're doing. If I start talking about this more, am I going to lose my impact? Am I going to lose my following? Am I going to lose my influence? Am I going to, are my sales going to decline? Is my image going to go downhill? Whatever the negative thoughts are. Is my following going to follow me as I transition? I'm not the same person I was that made me famous. The girl that became popular or influential in 2025, I mean, excuse me, and um, 2016, 2015, that's not who I am today. And I'm just, I'm crying because I'm trying to explain it. I just looked at my tour dates and so many cities are selling out. And I'm just so grateful that I can continue to be who God called me to be in this season. And y'all are still supporting me. And I, I swear to you, I told God, I, I was going through so much last year, so much. I was so scared. I was losing confidence. I was losing boldness. I was losing my voice. The enemy was trying to mute me in so many aspects of my life. And I told God, I was like, God, if you get me through this, I know you're going to get me through this, but please get me through this. If you get me through this dark time, if you get me through this, if you get me through this, I will never go on another stage and not say your name. I will never go on another platform and not say your name. I will never hold back my testimony and not let people know what you have done for me. And um, he is just like, all right, I'm gonna continue to provide. I'm gonna continue to let you walk in your purpose. I'm gonna continue to give you a platform. Just say my name. Like I literally looked at my tour dates, y'all, and so many cities are selling. And um, yeah, I, I sell out. Some cities I sell out, some cities I don't. Some cities I have to push, some cities are very difficult to sell tickets. And it's just another promise that God is showing up. And he's like, here, I got you. Don't worry. I got you. Just do what I called you to do. You make sure you say my name on that stage. You make sure you tell your testimony on that stage. You make sure, yeah, you're a comedian, you're doing comedy, but tell your truth. Tell your story on that stage. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I've been working so hard on my um, new stand-up comedy set, and I'm so excited to share my testimony and what God has done in my life through comedy. Trying to find that groove and figure that out is going to be a challenging thing for me, you know, because my comedy is changing because I'm changing. Jokes that I had five years ago, I wouldn't even say on stage now because I'm a total different woman. But the fact that y'all are still supporting me 
in this transition just shows how faithful God is. Do not be scared of change, y'all. Do not be scared to surrender. Do not be scared to let go of the person you used to be so you can be the person that God is calling you to be. The person that you were is not the person that God intends for you to end up being. Do not get stuck there. Do not get stuck there. It's a part of your story. It's a part of your testimony, but you cannot stay there. You cannot stay there. I am just over. I'm shaking. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. Y'all have no idea what I have gone through. And I know everybody has gone through things. Everybody. I'm no, I'm no more hurt than you. I'm no more, I'm no more depressed than you. I don't have any more doubts than you. We all have those moments. But I'm telling you, at the end, you God, you will always have the victory. You will always have the victory. Trust him through it. Trust him through it. Trust him through it. He is so faithful. He is so, so faithful. Let go. Surrender. Surrender. Let go. I know being obedient is so scary. God, I don't want to give it up because I don't know what it looks like if I give this up. God, I don't want to let go because this is all I know. This is where I'm comfortable and I'm scared. You don't have to know what it's going to look like after you let go. You just have to know that when you let go, God got it. He got it. When you relinquish control and say, you know what, God, I trust you. You told me to go left. I'm so comfortable going right. I'm so comfortable going right. But you told me to go left. I don't know where this is going to lead. I don't know what is going to come from this. But I'm just going to turn left and let you lead me. I promise. I promise you. God is going to show up. God is going to show up and give you 10 times what you would have got if you were going right. What you would have got if you would have stayed in that position. I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful. I broke down in my bathroom. I just asked my assistant, I was like, can you send me the ticket sales for tomorrow? Because the tickets weren't moving earlier this week or last week when I was promoting the tour. <laughs> And I'm like, okay, like, you know, the enemy gets in your head. I'm like, okay, like, maybe people don't want to hear what I have to say now because I'm not the same person that they fell in love with six years ago. Or maybe, you know, all of these things that the enemy will lie to you. He will lie to you so you can stay stagnant and continue to be where you are in your journey, in your walk with him, grow, heal, evolve. The right people will go with you. And if they don't go with you, they're not meant to go on this next chapter and on this next journey. Um, like I said, I just looked at my ticket sales and it's like, <laughs> we're really selling out. And I, I'm not doing anything but being myself. I'm not doing anything but doing what God called me to do in this season. I did not know what this was going to look like. I did not know what this was going to look like when I made the decision to be obedient. I did not know what my life was going to look like when God told me to let go of a relationship, when God told me to walk away from a podcast, when God told me to be sober and stop drinking. I didn't know. I did not know what it was going to look like. I just did it. I just did it. And he is showing up. I'm telling you, y'all. I want y'all to see this because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, be obedient. You don't have to know the how, the when, the why. Do it. Do it. And God will show up. He is so faithful. So I just thank y'all for supporting me, buying tickets to the Still Standing Comedy Tour. I'm still standing. I'm going to constantly use my platform to be vulnerable, to be myself, to um, be authentically me. That is what got me to this point, being myself. Be yourself in whatever chapter you're in, whatever season you're in. Embrace who you are in this season. If you don't like something about yourself, change it. Change it. And um, I'm just so grateful. I'm so 
grateful. I thank you to every single person that's buying tickets to this tour. I um, I promise you, I'm going to give my all on that stage. I'm over here writing new jokes, new stand-up, working on new material. Like, I have so much content that I'm working on. And I just want to tell my story and be myself on that stage and inspire somebody and touch every single person that has supported me. I'm so grateful. That's just the, the, the word I have. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. And I knew I would get to this point. Sometimes you don't know. Well, sometimes you don't know. I've always known I was going to get to the light. I've always known I was going to get to the victory. I've always known God was going to show up. But sometimes in that waiting, that waiting phase, it is so hard. To have faith. It is so hard to see where this is going. It is so hard. I know it's hard, baby. I know it's hard, but you have to know the victory is coming. God is never leaving you or forsaking you. He is going to show up. Just surrender and let go. Let go. I love y'all so much. I'm about to get off of this live. I thank you. Oh, and um, yeah, I just had a moment. I had a testimony and I had to um, let y'all know because as God is touching me and the Holy Spirit is speaking through me, hopefully I can speak to you and encourage you and love you and inspire you. And yeah, um, thank you guys. And check out the, um, the podcast episode with Sarah Jakes. That was a healing episode for me. That was a healing, beautiful episode for me. So I thank you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for buying tickets to my tour and um, the Still Standing Comedy Tour Woo! starts tomorrow. God bless y'all. Keep going. Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV.